So tell us a little bit about your company. Great. Uh, we're with Indie Boards and Cards. Okay. Uh, we have several games that people probably already know. Coup, Resistance, Flashpoint. Okay. Indie Boards and Cards recently merged with Action Phase Games. Okay. That was about four months ago. Awesome. I was one of the owners of Action Phase Games. So we brought a bunch of new games into the line. Heroes Wanted, Ninja Camp, Kodama, and Aeon's End. Uh, what we have here is at the show is Aeon's End, and we had Kodama, but we sold out of it. So well, I know our viewers are really interested to hear about Aeon's End. Yeah, Aeon's End is great. It's this huge new game that we made. It's a co-op fantasy deck builder okay. where you will play as a specific mage that has a unique deck with a unique starting card and a unique special ability that you can kind of power up to over the course of the game. Okay. And you're all playing together, working together to defend your home city, Gravehold, from being taken over by these giant nemesis monsters. Um, and they are represented by a deck of cards and a play mat. And every turn you draw a card for me, you just play. It's very simple to play the nemesis turns out. But they're all there. Their decks operate differently based on which guy they are. They all have different mechanics, ways that they're trying to defeat you in addition to just killing you, basically. So... What's cool about it is it's a deck builder like Dominion where you can plan out what you're buying. It's not a random trade row. Okay. But whenever you would draw a card and you can't, you don't shuffle your deck. Okay. You just flip your discard pile over and it becomes your deck. So, so this it's the allows, same order? It's the same order. Okay. So it's really important how you discard your cards because you're going to draw those cards in certain combinations. It sounds a little like Solitaire. I can see the, the gerbil like yeah, turning. Yeah, you can see you it. You were like, what? Wait, what? You played our first deck builder last night. Last okay. night, yes. <laughs> Well, well, welcome to the fold. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's way different. Because normally in deck builders, you're like, I really need to get to $6 this turn, and you draw up, and it's 5 You're like, crap. You draw again, it's like 5 You're like, crap. But now, since you can plan out the way that you draw your cards, you can always make sure that you get the right so threshold. There's a little bit more uh, skill and control to it. Yeah, there's a lot more okay. planning and focusing. You probably won't get $6 every turn, but you can make it so that one hand At has the money you need in it. it. And then the yeah. other one's kind of crappier. But most games, you'd rather have one really good hand and one bad hand than two mediocre hands. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's what's cool about it is you get a lot more control. Now, the game would be really boring if I gave you 100% control over almost everything. Of course. So what we had to do is we, instead of being a fixed turn order, we made a turn order deck. Okay. So you don't know when your turn is going to come up. So you don't know if you're going to get there in time to stop this minion from killing something. Okay. So it re requires a lot of cooperation and communication because you don't know exactly what's going to happen. And it is a co-op game? It is a co-op game. Okay. So you work together as mages to fight off this one bad guy. Now, there's no player elimination in the game. You can go to zero life, but if you do, just bad things happen to you, but you're not out of the game. Okay. And um, from what I understand, it was on Kickstarter recently? It was on Kickstarter in April and then in May. Okay. It did really well and made almost $190,000. Fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah, we made a whole, we made so much extra content that we added it as another expansion. Oh, that's cool. So the game isn't out in retail yet, so if you're thinking about coming to the con, you can get it here. It'll be in retail in two weeks. Okay. comes out December 7th. Awesome. That's the base game. And we have some expansions here that won't be in retail until a few more months down the road. Okay. But yeah, the game comes with four nemeses, eight mages, 25 different market cards, so there are tons of variability, lots of ways you can play the game. The game is a co-op game that is actually really hard, and there are ways to make it harder, and there are ways to make it easier than the rule book. That's good. Sounds very versatile. Yeah, it is. Um, and I'm sorry if I missed it. What is the retail price for that? The retail price for it is 50 50 Okay. Um, and is there any other type of games that you'd like to show off while we're here? This is all we have left, and we sold out of Kodama oh, so well, quickly. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah. Do, if you don't mind being in front of your booth for a second, just no, so you can fine. get it in the background. The, the we have the demo copy of Kodama. So, this is Kodama. Uh, in this game, you're building a tree. So, you literally start off with a tree trunk card, mm -hmm. and then you draft branch cards and build them off of your tree. Okay. So, what you're trying to do is get matching icon groups. So, whenever you play a card, if it connects to a card that has that icon, you're going to score points for it. So, like... A picture card version of Domino's in some way? Ish, yeah. Some actually, way? I've never heard that comparison, but it's <laughs> actually pretty right. All right, cool. <laughs> that's that's really smart. Thanks. Um, at the beginning of the game, you're dealt some of these Kodama cards. They're okay. like these tree spirits. And the idea is that you're trying to build a home that they like, so they score in different ways. So you can think of them as like you're an interior decorator for these really picky clients. Oh, that sounds fun. So after every four turns, you're going to play one of these and score how it says. So all of them would be best probably at the end of the game. So you have to be careful and pick which one you're going to score first and second and third because they'll have different sort of scoring potential to them. Awesome. This game did really well for us on Kickstarter. We sold about 3,500 copies of it two years ago, a year and a half ago. 
we delivered on all of that back in May. Okay. And we sold out of the print run okay. in like four weeks. So this is the reprint of it. It's called the second edition, but really the box change and the scoreboard change, and that's about it. Okay. It'll be in retail also December 7th. Okay. It's $20 price point. That's really cheap. It's a great game. Anybody can play it. They even have special Kodama cards for little kids, so that if they can't read, you can just point to the symbols and tell them what to collect. Literally anyone can play this game. Everybody loves it. At the end of the game, you're going to have this really pretty tree that you made. It's basically this piece of work, piece of art that you made. Oh, that's really cool. So how, it's two to five players? It is two to five. Okay. And um, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about you or your company? We have a lot of really interesting games coming up. We're going to be on Kickstarter next year. We have a lot of stuff planned. Exciting. The merger of our two companies, Action Phase and Any Boards and Cards, really opened the door for us to broaden our horizon as to what we're going to get. We're looking at a lot of new games and making a lot of stuff. We've been working really hard. So if you're fans of Action Phase games or Any Boards and Card game, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Action Phase Games, at Indie Boards and Cards. Like us on Facebook. Awesome. We'll be able to send out all that information for you when those games come out. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. It was great meeting you. It was very nice to meet you, too. And thank I won't you. forget your name because it's kind of like mine. Awesome. <laughs>